The Battle Uhud. Muslims archers leave their post. The Battle of Badr left Mecca's idol worshippers grieving from their loss, and they wanted to seek revenge against the Muslims. Later, another battle occurred between the idol worshippers of Mecca and the Muslims, called the Battle of Uhud, a hill about four miles to the north of the city of Medina. The idol worshippers made better preparations this time to attack and beat the Muslims. The idol worshippers carried an army of 3,000 men, 200 horses, and even two dozen of their women under their current leader, Abu Sufyan. The Muslims were less in number, at around 1,000 men, and only one horse. Later, the Muslims were abandoned by 300 of the hypocrites of the Muslims, so the number of Muslims went down to 700 men, instead of 1,000. Prophet Muhammad suggested that the Muslims stay within the town to receive the idol worshippers from there, since they were outnumbered. But some of his companions advised they march out against the idol worshippers. Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims offered their prayers in the morning, then advanced to the plains to prepare for battle. When they reached the place of battle, Prophet Muhammad positioned some of his men to have their backs toward the hill. Prophet Muhammad then placed 50 Muslim archers on the top of the hill behind the Muslim troops to prevent the idol worshippers from surrounding the Muslims and so they could have a good view from afar. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, commanded the Muslim archers on top of the hill not to leave their post no matter what happens, even if they see the idol worshippers fleeing. And he was very strict and clear about that. Later, the Muslims were winning the battle, and it appeared the Muslims had defeated the idol worshippers. The Muslim archers on top of the hill saw that the idol worshippers fleeing the battlefield and had left some of their stuff behind. The Muslim archers on top of the hill began to dispute among themselves if they should go down and grab what the idol worshippers had left behind. The leader of the Muslim archers that Prophet Muhammad appointed asked them, Have you forgotten what Prophet Muhammad told us? Fifty Muslim archers that were instructed not to leave their post left their position except for 10 of them. This allowed the idol worshippers of Mecca to come back around, climb the hill, attack the Muslims, surround and surprise them from the back, and create complete disorder which resulted in the Muslims losing. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called his companions back, but only 12 men remained with the Prophet. Prophet Muhammad was struck down by stones, wounded in the face by two arrows, and fell unconscious. About 70 or 75 of the Muslims were killed in this battle, and among them was the Prophet's uncle Hamza, peace be upon them all. Of the idol worshippers, 22 men died.